How could that happen? Happen white shoe. I bought new white sneakers and wore them to school today. But they aren't even dirty. What's wrong? They didn't get dirty, but at least half of the other students have the same white sneakers. That means they're trendy now. Yeah, but I want to have unique shoes. So, huh. Oh, like paint them yellow or orange? Huh. Orange is too much, but that's an interesting idea. Well, I have lots of markers. We'll find the right color. <laughs> no, we won't use markers now, but I have a different idea. Will you help me? Sure. It was my idea after all, otherwise you'd still be sad. <laughs> True. Then let's get to work. I'm a designer, a creator. Hi, guys. Today, Sammy gave me a great idea of making cool and unique sneakers from ordinary white ones. Oh, yeah. As a designer, I see things differently. <laughs> when did you put the scarf on? Right now. All famous designers wear scarves. Okay, so here are our sneakers. White so far. First, we need to get rid of the laces. We'll deal with them in no time. Oh, no, no, Sammy. We'll need them later. All right, cut laces are foolishness, not style. So we simply unlace them. Here you go, carefully. You don't have to tear or cut them. Just take them out of the holes. Here we set the lace aside and get to the second shoe. Where is it? Here, I already unlaced it. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Sometimes you don't need words to understand me. Now we'll remove the insoles and set them aside. The sneakers are so naked now. We'll start dressing them up. Good timing with the scissors, by the way. Give them to me. Are we gonna cut the sneakers instead of laces? <laughs> no, of course not. No worries. We just need to cut the masking tape. So first, we cover the logo like this. Actually, it's a great logo. What's wrong with it? Nothing. We're just protecting it from paint because it looks great as is. It's unbelievable that the creator of this legendary logo was a student named Caroline Davidson. In the year 1971, the payment for her work was a mere $35. I like your attitude, Sam. <clears throat> and meanwhile, I was sticking the tape not along the contour but over the logo. We'll fix it soon. And now we cover the sole and the tongue. The sole looks better when it's white. Oh, by the way, Sammy, do you know why the sole of all sneakers and running shoes are white? Not to waste money on paint? <laughs> no. Sneakers and running shoes are sportswear, and initially they were created for training in the gym. And now sneakers are used not only for sports. And why is the white sole so important for the gym? Well, the tradition remained, and the white sole doesn't leave marks on the floor. If these shoes are for indoors, sure. But if people wore sneakers in everyday life, what about non-sporty clothes in sports? I can already imagine a soccer game in suit and ties or basketball players in black leather shoes. And I definitely would miss a tennis game played in high heels. Whoa, that's a nice idea for a comedy video, Sammy. But you got carried away, so please take care of the second shoe. I'm starting to tape it. I taped everything. How did you manage to do it so nicely? Let's fix your work a little, too. I could never imagine that a cutter would come in handy for sneakers painting. Oh, we can't do without it. First, we cut the extra tape at the sole. Be careful with the cutter. Whoa, smooth move. A little more. So, and now... Whoosh! Time to fix our logo. That exact logo Phil Knight paid $35 for. Why didn't I remember to use the cutter? And now we get to the painting. First, we apply the primer spray. It's the base for the paint, but not the actual paint. Here we go! Go, Sue! We'll make super unique shoes for you. Everyone will be super jealous. And one shoe is done. After we applied the primer, we're ready to move on. Now, Sam, we need to fill this huge container with water. Oh, I never thought designers should work physically. <laughs> Why shouldn't they? Did you really believe that designers lift nothing heavier than a scarf? Also bags with money for their clothing heads. Well, let's train with the container for now. Let's go together. Guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you liked the video. So wait for me! Whew, Sammy, I couldn't make it without you today. That's nothing, just an unplanned training. So now we'll need gloves and our cans with paint. Don't forget to protect your face. 
I am a real graffitiist. Oh, yeah. Let's shake the can. You do it, too. And now I'm a bartender. <laughs> Make up your mind already. Okay. It's decided I'm a designer. I can't wait to see what we'll get in the end. Then here we go. Phew. I guess it's enough. Holy cannoli, this is awesome! Just like a painting on the water. Yep, call it abstract art. Now that's my favorite kind of art. We're diving in! Yep. We move the paint carefully around the sneaker like this. So now we take it out. This is surely beautiful and unique, but not very neat. The main part comes later. Let it dry for now. And meanwhile, we dip the second sneaker into the paint. We spread the paint all over the sneaker like we did last time. Beautiful! And the final result will be even better! Now let's work a little more on the design of our sneakers. First, we remove the tape from the sole. Voila! Whoa! Now it looks much nicer! Of course, sir designer! Just a little more! And now, for the perfect look, we'll need this cutter again. We cut the masking tape at the upper part and remove it carefully. Hop! It's like peeling fruits! And now we remove the tape from the top and from the back. Like this. And this small piece. Sammy, will you try the same with the logo? Sure! <laughs> Done! Awesome! So, any more doubts? Definitely not. This will be the crown of my designer work. <laughs> At least for now. We'll get back to our laces. Let's thread it. We just need to repeat it with a second sneaker. Let's do it real quick. I can't wait to see the final look. If you're so impatient, then we'll need a bit of magic. And here come the laces! So guys, the great designer Sammy and I are ready to show you our sneakers! Check them out! became the representatives of an absolutely new profession. <laughs> Which profession? Artist sneaker painters. Tell it our Dolly would be jealous. Not only Dolly, but even Nike founder Phil Knight would envy us. But I wouldn't sell these sneakers to him for $35. <laughs> what is made with your own hands is priceless. Okay, Sue, you need to show us how they look on your feet. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present the sneakers from the latest collection of designer sets. Sammy, how do you like them? Absolutely awesome! No one will have sneakers like these! Well, actually, I'd be happy if someone makes the same sneakers. They're so cool, after all! Guys, check out this fine work and the genius that created them! <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, you definitely know how to advertise yourself and your product! It can't be helped! Such is our market! Yes, guys, give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to our channel, Designer Sam! We'll see you later! I'll go draw a suit sketch for these sneakers. I already have an idea. Way to go, Sam. I'm waiting for new trendy outfits. And thank you for watching, guys. You can also try to make a pair of colorful sneakers from white ones. See you soon. Bye. Bye, everyone.